Hey friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. We're looking at January 16th through the 22nd. Um, I decided not to do a sunset video because we're approaching the new moon. And I myself have been um, learning how to balance um, just life, you know, like chores, bills, uh, communications, um, along with sort of the flow state of life. Like those daily mundane things are the foundation on which everything else happens, like the stage, if you will. So I feel like that's being called out this week. We're heading towards a new moon in Aquarius. And Uranus and Mercury both go direct. Uranus represents challenges, surprises, changes. Mercury's communication. Okay, so everything that could be like a surprise message, um, this is this, not really that. Some of the other keywords um, for this week are um, a need for freedom, a love of learning. That's the moon in Sag right there. The world expands through knowledge. Balancing freedom and stability. The urge to be productive, responsible, and measured. That's when the moon goes into Capricorn. Aqua, uh, Aquarius season is, is starting this week too. So that is an air sign that's very mental. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of mm, free-flowing um, ideas. Um, acquiring knowledge may be easier. There may be some new skill you're picking up on or sudden interests um, because the Aquarius is also like a heightened intu um, intuition and resilience. The Aquarius in the tarot is represented by the star card um, which is healing, hope, and vulnerability. Just think about how turtles or crabs, like anything with a protective shell evolves more slowly than let's say a squid that is like squishy and vulnerable and they're hyper intelligent. I don't know if they're hyper intelligent. They're extremely intelligent creatures. So something like that, like using vulnerability for stability. I think somewhere last week, was that last week? There was another keyword that was like um, weaknesses as strengths. That's going to be a big theme for the year overall. And so I feel like this might be the first taste of that that I'm seeing. Uranus goes direct, opens gates to repressed urges. Mm-hmm. Take space to think, this new moon. On this new moon in Aquarius, take some space to think. I think I posted this a while back, something about, I think Venus is conjunct Saturn. That's where there's like push and pull between that softness and vulnerability and this need to be free or independent, self-sufficient. Okay. I'm just going to do the cards right on top of this. Let's see what we got. This one wanted to come out. Oh my god, I'm not even surprised. The Page of Pentacles has been showing up a lot. Um, this is the student of life. This is about like, this young page doesn't have all of the experience, but knows an opportunity when he sees one. Okay, and it's just gonna start off very small, but this is about the beginning of a project or anything like that, a beginning of a time investment. And it feels good, it feels good because it's not what the other thing was. <laughs> So this could feel like a fresh new beginning or a new opportunity. Uh, you want to take advantage of something like that. Three of Wands, eight, eight of Swords, there's Freedom, the Tower, there's Uranus. Where's the Tower, Mars? Anyway, it's very change-like. Uh, Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. 
So yeah, I see freedom, there's intuition. I think there's a little bit of resistance of expanding intuition or feeling. Maybe there's like a, a block on a feeling or something um, because your mind is keeping you trapped. Yeah, the mind is keeping you from this, what you will ultimately achieve, this 10 of cups, ultimate happiness. But there's just something that you need. There's something that's blocking you. So I don't know if this is financially related because we have this page of pentacles, like he's going after the coin. Um, also, this is a card of resources. So again, time and money coming in on the cold. This is about communicating your needs. We saw that theme last week as well, communicating your needs. I feel like that is um, a massive theme now and into the future, communicating needs. Okay, um, I do see sort of like, okay, the tower comes in, that's sudden upheaval, that's change, that feels like Uranus. It's almost like something gets suddenly shook out into place and you're forced to let go. You're forced to let go. The Page of Swords is the energy to deal with the tower, but it is showing here that it's like we're not exactly prepared or we're, we... We definitely don't know what's in store. I'll say that. We definitely don't know what's in store. There is happiness here, I think, beyond mental entrapments. And I think that's the uh, that's the real message here is when you don't see a way forward, we're really being called to investigate inwardly. And this is, you know, we got the new moon this week as well. So everything should start energetically excuse me, head towards that inner realm. Get some space so you can think a little bit more clearly. Um, and I definitely see like you need, it's like you need something to be happy. You need something to be happy. Let's see what else there is. Um, I don't know if I want to clarify the tower. Um, I feel like because so many planets have been in retrograde and we're coming out of that, I feel like this is to be expected. It's just life is rearranging itself and um, how it does so, I think, is determinant on many, many factors. Uh, whether or not you're paying attention to what is changing by looking within you, how you're changing every day, what's going on around you. I feel like this is really wanting to bring to my awareness self-awareness. And our, are you letting your intuition guide you, your gut feeling, your is your heart ruling? Because I, I feel like the head has been ruling and it's not exactly showing you things the way that they are. So yeah, we are, it's interesting, we have the Ten of Cups in the middle, that sometimes is referred to as a timing card, and that is ten days, ten weeks. This tower, ten days or ten weeks. Ten weeks is what, two and a half months? Right now in the middle of January, so end of February. Um, do you use CoStar? I use CoStar, and s this line down here reminds me of something CoStar said, is like, there's no language for this. Invent one. Like, there's no way to talk about, like, something about these needs here. And also, like, these two cards together, not seeing what you need, not seeing what you don't have, not seeing what you lack. Um, Aquarius season is bringing like a humanitarian lens to everything, like systemic wide lens. It's doing things for the greater good. I like Aquarius because I think it focuses a lot on interdependence. But you can't um, participate in community and learn to rely on each other if you don't bring your end of the equation, which is, this is what I need. Not seeing what you don't need. 
Wait, not seeing what you don't have, not seeing what you need. There's no language for this, invent one. So, yeah, th when the tower comes, it's a sudden change, it's unexpected. It's in the top row, it, so it's showing you it's in the superconscious. This is something, I think, um, in your subconscious that will become revealed or um, feels like paradigm shift. A paradigm shift from a, a, a negative mental entrapment, your mind keeping you small, to more to towards having more gratitude, um, being able to really let go, relax um, into the present moment to find happiness. I think in little things, there's like this very happy feeling with this ten of cups. You've got to bring that feeling though. Right? If you're numbing out, this Queen of Cups is, is in the reverse. She nurtures the element of the cup, which is emotions and inner world. If you're emotionally blocked or like emotionally constipated because your mind is going, that's something that by the end of this tower, whenever this happens and whatever it is, that's what we let go of. Page of Swords. We're dealing with the tower. We just don't know how to deal with it because it's not something we've dealt with before. Um, because the Three of Wands is here, I'm going to repeat a message that was in the astrology, which is the world expanding through knowledge. Through knowledge. Anytime we see a blindfold, means there's something we don't know. Blindfolded here, the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords, blindfolded. What truth are you keeping from yourself? Or what truth is being kept from you? Uncovering secrets, transformations, um, an increase in personal power. Advice for this week, be selfless. Urge to be productive, responsible, measured. We talked about that. Um, and Mercury is trying node for the second time in two weeks. This, this conjunction happened last week too, and it's about using your mental faculties. Mm -hmm. This was the similar energy to chance meetings and invitations last week, but there was like some other context here. It's like we're really, our minds are well lubricated and thoughts and dots are connecting. That's what that feels like. So the more you learn, the more dots you create, the nodes, the synapses in your brain, the more your world expands. Mm -hmm. Which is actually the premise of this card, if we go back to the very beginning of the reading. The student, the page of pentacles. You don't know what you don't know. Um, even what you think you know, you could probably know more. And this ten of cups then it tells me the, the energy to work with is love, embodying joy. Um, this is a very beginner's mind to me. Okay, and we're coming out of something that was worse. Whatever this is, is not worse than what you came from. That's for sure. That's a for sure, so nothing to be afraid of. Just, yeah, retrograde, retrograde's ending. Things just shifting. Okay, thanks for joining me in my abode. And I'll see you on the next video.